this was a critical thing for me, actually. I got the part in a movie called Flesh and Bone, which is which was not a successful, you know, from a box office perspective film at all, but it was written by this great, written and directed by Steve Clovis, who is a great, really talented guy. I think he did, I don't know, he went on to do like the Harry Potters, or I think, adapted. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, but he was a great guy. And um, I got this part of this really tough young grifter in Texas who was stealing jewelry off of dead bodies at funerals and hustling people. And um, so I went to Texas, you know, when my friends were all starting their sophomore years in college, I was living in Austin, Texas, and, tr and that was our kind of base. And then I was traveling all over Texas for basically that whole quarter. And it was... I couldn't, I mean, Meg Ryan was in this movie. So this is like post Harry I met Sally. Mm -hmm. I was so starstruck around her. Like I could not, I felt like I couldn't even be myself. Really? Yes. I was so nervous around her and she had just had a baby. She was so nice. I don't know. It was great. When, when that, and then I didn't work at all. And then what, but when that movie came out, I got a lot of critical acclaim for my role. And then that's when things started moving. Wow. It's so interesting that, you know, you were starstruck growing up in the, in the family you did and having the people around you that were on, you know, the New York people, the LA people, it's just says so much about your character. I, I, I think that's well, so amazing. I think also, you know, when you're a kid and like, Michael Douglas is at dinner or something. You're a kid, like you don't know. That's just your parents' friend, and then you grow into the idea that this is a big movie star. But when it's your own thing, like it's, you know, I had this reverence for Meg Ryan and or like Julia Roberts. You know, when I saw Pretty Woman when I was a senior in high school, right. and I in those women I felt like illumination within myself like oh my god this is what I want to be I they're so brilliant and charming and funny and they're lighting up the world and that's what I want to do and it so it felt so personal to me you know so that when I first met Meg I was so you know I couldn't believe it but I always was starstruck by the people that really moved me I mean I remember meeting the painter Richard Diebenkorn at our house growing in New York and I cried like you did yeah, I cried like someone meeting, you know, Travis Scott or whoever they cry over these right, days. Right. You know, I was like, <laughs> I was inconsolable because his art meant so much to me. So I, right. I don't know. I still feel starstruck sometimes, 